They got everywhere. Cooking simulator. So the first thing we need to establish is what can be blended. Well, that's almost too obvious. Yep, that'll work. Uh, these should blend nicely. They'll fit right in there. That one going... Yep, that'll work. You know, these aren't exactly the greatest fit. But I think with just a little bit of proper coaxing. Yeah, okay, we'll have blender versus blender. You go in there. Perfect. Yeah, you can tell I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I Wait, did the tongs go in? Okay, the tongs are in. Actually, this is already halfway in there. Yeah, perfect. We'll just let it go like that. I don't know. That's pretty good. Let's see how that works. Yep, just as planned. Well, this is off to a pretty productive start, but while we're at it, we're going to make us microwave tongs. So if you go ahead and... You really not? Okay, there we go. Aha. Is this a microwave or a microwave oven? I guess either way, it's probably not going to be a really good result. I expected more explosions than that, but that's okay because I actually want to put one of these on top before I get too carried away. Can I, like, change the actual time on this or anything? Heat. Power adjustment. We're going to crank it up to high. Okay, since you can't actually blend anything. You know what? Maybe it can. We just need a few actual ingredients. And we've got a lot to choose from. A whole pumpkin. Not actually sure if this is going to fit. I'd help if I could see. Uh, there? Yeah, I don't think the pumpkin's going to work. We need something smaller, but still quite large. Potato. Does the blender just not blend things? Can we, like, bump that stuff around? Nothing's touching the actual blades. Maybe a little bit of force? Nope. Okay, the blender's useless. So far, the microwave is not as exciting as I hoped it would be. But I think I have an idea. And it starts with a box and probably ends with something exploding. But I need some of these panels off the walls. And there's a few potential ways to do that. I'm going to try this. Yeah, that'll probably work in one of these. Not sure what kind of kitchen has so many large bottles of propane sitting around, but I approve. Change the oil frequently. Fires are important. Fries. Well, we make a little bit of both. We'll throw some potatoes in there and make some fries while we're at it. Potato? Can I can get it in from here? Probably not. That's quite a toss. There. Nope. Well, as long as you get one potato in there, I should be pretty happy with the result. There. One potato. Did I leave this open or did that open by itself? Let's just use some in here. Big slab of meat. Oh, yeah, there we go. Panels are off. I didn't notice before, but we actually have open windows. Oh, we can just break the windows anyway. We actually get stuff. Telephone. No, stuff seems to mostly bounce off. There are pretty big spaces in the windows, though. I'm pretty sure with some careful aiming, we could get something right out there. I clearly spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Maybe stuff can't go out there. I really need something... Oh, yeah, there we go. To go out the window. If there's anything that could go out a window, it's definitely a knife. Oh, yeah, that actually breaks the windows. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. This is definitely a part of my recipe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that went onto the street down below. Anyways, back to my little project here. I need to make this box sit a little bit nicer. That's good enough for me. All right, now we need to construct our very own oven on top of the other oven, which is going to involve some very careful Jenga. You want to sit right there. I pressed the wrong button and now I'm ready to toss this thing at great speed. So I just need something to throw it at. Who would have thought working in the kitchen could be such hard work? All right, so far this isn't working very well, but that's okay because I've got nothing but time. Might actually need to just readjust my box a little bit, maybe too far back. You know what? I might have to more or less start with the roof of this thing. But are these going to make a good roof? I don't really know if we have anything better we can use. It depends on how much we can really deconstruct everything. This might work decently. Uh, yep. This is working out great so far. Well, that could almost be the front, but I don't think the walls are going to play ball if it's sitting like that. Easy does it. Yeah, that's totally a gentle release. Yeah, because Idiot Stick doesn't want to actually place anything. He wants to throw it with great force, no matter how gently you actually release it. So we'll just go ahead and dumb this idea down until I find a better way to actually do it anyway. So this is my new makeshift griddle. Never before been seen before. We're going to go with steak. Also, also a burger, because why not? Results may vary. Perfect. No. We let the magic happen. Is cardboard not flammable? Because I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure if I can microwave the tongs without issue, a cardboard box should light on fire. I know I said I have lots of time for this, but I really kind of want to get stuff rolling. There we go. You just had to turn on all the burners. I wonder if that's actually going to cook. They seem a little bit cold so far, if I'm reading that temperature thing correctly. The box just chars. It doesn't actually light on fire. Well, you know what? That's just fine. We'll let those run for a while. Eventually, they should cook. Lemon juice? Let's see if this will blend. I'm thinking probably not, because nothing actually touches the blender blades. Maybe they'll once we get enough little stuff in there, let's shake it all up and uh, suck it all down to the blades. Yeah, that's working just great. Nothing works. These can't both be blenders. We just go ahead and blend everything here. Man, this game has a lot of cool concepts. Oh, okay, I guess I'm not holding that anymore. Well, that's fine there. I wonder how many of these we can get and what exactly we can do with them. The game doesn't seem to like more than one of them at a time. This one's currently on, but I can only hear that one working. Well, I assume eventually that thing's going to do something. Are my meats done yet? I don't think they're cooking at all. Luckily for me, I know how to add a little bit of heat to this experiment. Wait. And this sound, as amusing as it is, is actually pretty annoying. So... 
you go play with that thing. The propane tank blew up. I only took one of the doors off that thing now, but you know what? That's okay. I don't really know what exactly I can or cannot do with this yet. Was this made for knives? I bet it was. Because I don't actually see any darts, but I could be wrong. Gotta compensate for that little bit of bullet drop. Yep, perfect bullseye. No one can say any different at all. We break the microwave? Oh, can we break the microwave and then turn it on? Will this microwave the whole building? Nope, it appears not. Well, that's less fun. Do these actually grab things? Can we uh, tong things? We can rotate, move vertically. Really? You have tongs you can't even tong stuff with. What good are these? There is seriously an alarming amount of propane in this place. Especially with so many open flames. That's just recklessly dangerous. Pretty curious to see if I can make a chain reaction that comes all the way over to here to the baking trays. And this is the last one hiding here in our kitchen, but that's still quite a few. 10, 12, something like that. And one back in the deep fryer. Remember when we gave that a try? Hopefully this actually works. I want a bigger explosion. Now we wait. The deep fryer one actually exploded first this time. What is that about? This one's literally sitting on an open flame, but the deep fryer one actually went first and didn't blow up the rest of them, I should add. They might have to be on direct heat for that, but I think I've actually got a solution for that. So whenever you're ready, it's like watching paint dry. You can explode at some point, a flame even on. Okay, well, I think I can actually get a torch. There is one here somewhere, or I might have to summon one from my magic box. While I'm doing this, the thing's probably there. There we go, blow torch. Add a little heat. Uh, situation and hold this. There we go. That's better. The controls leave a little bit to be desired here, but the rest of them didn't even blow up. They just blow around a bunch. Wait, where's my torch? Oh. Well, minor problem. I mostly just want my torch back. I want to see if I can burn the post-it notes. No, those are non-flammable variety. Ooh, that's spreading fast. I didn't know that could happen. Well, better mop that up. No, nothing. No, luckily we ourselves are fireproof. The rest of those should blow up any minute now, so it does actually work. Not in the way that I thought, but we will get a chain reaction pretty soon. Aw, oh, man. This game's got something to spoil everything fun. Hmm. If that doesn't inspire any fun ideas, I don't know what would. Oh, it seems they've started another fire, which is great because I can't see where they're sitting anymore. We got one. My idea was to make a stack of propane tanks and then throw the torches into them. Not as exciting as I thought. Everything's already on fire. Fire extinguisher, though. Go. I don't think it worked. But then again, maybe it did. We don't know for sure. You go blow something up. That might work. Yeah, there we go. That one's already on fire. What's going to win? The torch or the fire extinguisher? Probably the torch. I definitely do want to see if I can make some kind of projectile. Something physics-based. This isn't actually a cooking game. It's a physics game. Well, things moved a little ways. Yeah, I guess if these things got all the way over here, that has to be worth something. So let's see if we can blow the doors open and get out of here. Bring our uh, chaos to the streets. All right, I guess not. Everything is just exploding on its own suddenly and the door is not open for me. But I think that leads me to yet another fun idea. Not that, that was just a personal project. Seriously, you can get any item in the game except more propane bottles. To be fair, it does give you a lot to start with, but I want more. That's fine, we'll just have to work with what we got. Just want to remove one door before I get too carried away. Did my fire extinguisher return? I don't know that got back there. I definitely threw that into the fire. We don't really need one considering the fire suppression place in this area is quite adequate. Well, that dropped the frames. It doesn't really love the fire and explosion that much, but it lets it happen. Pretty curious at this point to see exactly what is breakable or not. Like, what is that thing up there? I feel like it's like, hello neighbor, and there's secrets to be found everywhere. You just gotta do the weird things to access them. Probably a bit of a long shot. Oh, that's not gonna fit out the window. Anyways, ever wonder what happens if you throw 5,000 buckets into this room? Neither have I. If I'm really careful, I'm pretty sure I can get one actually lodged up there. I'm really just here for the bucket trick shots. Nope. Oh, well, so much for that thing. Maybe that's how I escape. Or I get a bucket into it. Not sure if that's gonna work. But I'm never really sure about anything at all anyway. Yeah, according to that last bucket, I don't think anything can actually get out there. We'll try something smaller though. Cucumber. Perfect. I love air vents. Nothing. Okay, back to what I was doing. Up until now, the game has felt really good. It only slowed down once a little bit when I had a minor explosion. I'm kind of wondering how it's going to react if I put like a million something just everywhere. Maybe at that point causing an explosion. Do I have any? Yeah, I've got lots of uh, propane things left. Nice, that one landed up top and broke a bunch of glass stuff. We get that air vent too. That one seems tougher. It did stop spinning though. I wonder if everything here is destructible and you just kind of got to hit it enough times. What about you? It made a sound. By the end of this... I will have broken everything I can. Lock? Wait, what's starting a fire now? Buckets? Buckets cause friction? I have no idea why there's a fire starting. Oh, you know what? I think I threw the torch over there and forgot about it like a year ago. Well, now that's going to be pretty fun to find. The fire suppression system. Well, you know what? Here, this will be the only thing we cook. We'll add some meat into the mixture too. A couple uh, beef chunks and 
sausage. Here's the culprit. I left the torch on the ground. We'll go ahead and remove that from the kitchen entirely so it does not cause any more issues. I'm sure someone will take care of that on the street. Only the real skilled players can actually land one on the metal shelves. And I'm clearly not one of them. At this point, I do feel the game slowing down just a little bit. It's definitely a little bit less smooth than it was before. Probably on account of the red buckets. But I can't say for sure at this point. Definitely feeling some performance effects now. The screen is actually stuttering for me every time I move. The light's having just a little bit of a seizure. So that's kind of fun. Even when I look that way. It's also getting a little bit hard to control. I keep missing my box. And suddenly, with that last bucket toss, the game feels really smooth again. So I'm not sure what the magic was, but that last bucket seemed to have solved whatever the issue was. Wait, nope. We're back. I really wish there was an item counter at this point. I have no idea how many I've thrown out there so far. Or how many we're gonna get. Approximately lots. I'm really curious to see right now what happens if I pick up an item and try and walk into that mess. How everything's gonna react with each other. The game is running very slow and jittery at this point. Can't imagine why. Nothing? Oh, it doesn't really like that very much. Ooh, that could be fun. We need more buckets. But uh, let's just swing this around for a second and see what we can do. That sound is not good for my brain. Ooh. Uh-oh. Great bucket explosion. Oh, it doesn't like those things. I think the buckets are fine. I think it's those that it doesn't uh, react very well with. That's neat. What happens if we fire that into it at a million miles an hour? Not a lot. The game doesn't love that very much. We'll uh, go ahead and put one of these at the bottom of the pile at the back. Then we can light that on fire at the end to see if the buckets go flying or what exactly happens. We'll uh, set that loose there. It should be heavier than everything else, so it should eventually sink into the buckets. So currently it's just kind of bouncing around like jello, which is amusing in itself. Cooking simulator, this isn't how physics works, but I like it. Let's put this one on top too. This one can go on this side though. They can have a dance off. Well, that one's behaving. Well, whatever. We'll just keep throwing buckets on it until something exciting happens. That feeling when you try and save your game and the game seems to have crashed. One thing I'm not in the mood for at this late hour at night is replacing all those buckets I already threw down. Nope, we're good. It's back. Again, on this bucket, I have this moment of clarity where the game actually just runs really nicely and I can look around and admire everything. As soon as I throw it, I'm sure though. Yep, as soon as it touches the other buckets, we slow right down again. I've just realized how hard it is going to be to find that other propane tank buried down there for my torch, but uh, we'll worry about that when we get to where we're going. I still need a few more buckets. Alright, well at this point, the game is barely running so we're gonna see if we can explode some blue things and make some red things fly around so we need to find one little torch this could take a second one torch and i'm really hoping these propane tanks do have an effect on the buckets not really sure i'm gonna do this part so i'm just gonna kind of leave a few torches near that thing and keep an eye on it while it goes go down there is that gonna work that might work i don't know if i want to add more torches or not i don't want to look away from all this so when it blows up it's probably just gonna crash the game but i think i would still consider that a success yeah the torch isn't even on the thing yet the game is running so slowly right now we'll just keep adding torches to it until something happens and i'll try to keep my eye on it that way we don't miss anything okay torch go down oh that might do it no oh, i don't know where that's actually facing i don't really know how particularly the flames are like if they have to be right on it or nearby earlier i couldn't stop the place i'm lighting on fire but now it's probably going to be a struggle the trick is just to not look away for any great length of time whoops as i screw up my box pickup it's really annoying how you can pick up the box that you're supposed to be buying from no torch. We have work to do. I think the hardest part is going to be getting these torches just right. Maybe if I can kind of like put it down manually or just start it on fire or something. I'm not really sure. Go down there. My stupid ideas always have these little hiccups you'd never really think about until you're there. And then you're like, oh, right. That's not going to work. Oh, that might work. That's right on it. Is it on the other torch though? I don't really know. We'll add this one to the equation anyway. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think it's blowing up because everything just froze and the barrels get really close to my face. I think that might be a knockout for cooking simulator. I think the buckets were trying to get away. They just couldn't. I'm uh, I'm just going to sit for a sec. Just, well, there it is. That actually scared me. So things are well on their way now. The bucket explosion seems to have worked. Losing the frames per second though. Bucket. Bucket. Oh, we're picking up speed. Here we go. This is what cooking simulator is all about. Yep. That couldn't have gone any better. Now it lights on fire. It didn't even get all the buckets. We better try that one more time. The game is running a little bit smoother now. Or at least feels like it after that little explosion. So you go oh, there. Oh, that might actually be perfect. So there's no flames coming out of the top. Maybe if I just start the thing on fire, it'll keep going. Oh, here we go. It's blowing up anyway because everything does in my life. Excellent. This is probably exactly what the game devs had in mind. Well, at least that scattered the buckets out pretty nicely. Well, I mean, I guess that was Cooking Simulator. If anyone has any better ideas or other games, do let me know. They got everywhere.